authority of the Senate of the University of Guelph. I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws. Esteemed faculty, sorry, honored guests, and most important of all, the graduates. My personal congratulations. To be standing here today before you is a privilege to speak to you, and accepting this degree has filled my heart with one of those moments of extreme happiness. On your behalf, I offer my sincere thanks to your families and your friends and those along the way who have contributed to your graduation. For you, the graduating class, congratulations. You are the future. It is you who will build a better Canada. It is you who will build a better world. For me, this is a 60-year-old dream that has been realized today. This dream started when I was in grade school, failed grade seven, and was intensified when I dropped out of school the day after I turned 16. The next day I landed a job doing deliveries for a typesetter on a bicycle. Wow, what a shock that was back then in 54. It was a car culture and every teenager dreamed of having a car, not riding a bike. That was a defining moment for me and ignited a new passion, and a passion to achieve. Your achievement today is one to be proud of, and with that comes much responsibility. It has brought with it a new beginning. As you move on from the University of Guelph and the years of support, remember to weave them into your life as a reminder of where you have been and what you have learned. Starting tomorrow, I ask you to dare to dream. Dream of your life in the future and enhance your values to commit to fulfilling your vision of those dreams. And when you do this, I would like you to challenge yourself to continue your learning, to continue growing, and to continue sharing with others and never stop. You have the ability within you to become the person you see in your dreams of the future. We all come into this world as equals. What happens in our formative years is that the system tries to improve or eliminate our weaknesses and we lose the focus to develop ourselves. And this creates a situation where we get in the way of ourselves, of who we really can be. It is from your strengths that the real you can develop to your full potential. For there are many yous. Let me explain. There is the you I think you are. There is the you you think you are. And then there is the real you. This is whom you need to develop. You can change who you are as you connect with your work and develop throughout your life to fulfill your dreams. Being here in this moment has made me realize how fulfilling and rewarding my life has been. It reminds me of when I founded the Printing House in 1961. That was an idea. An idea that was filled with holes. Just like a sieve. It wasn't a plan. I started the business so I could become a better typesetter. I was 23 and married with two children, not the smartest thing to do. I would not have done this if I'd had a well-defined plan. 
I have always said that opportunities are not what you see in the future. What you see is a dream. You only see the opportunity when you look back. So it turned out that setting up a business to be a better typesetter was not an opportunity at all. Typesetting was already changing. It was big time and a faltering trade. Within 10 years, it was half what it had been. Looking back, I can see now that the real opportunity was setting up the company. Fortunately for me, I learned that everyday life is work and that your real work is what you need to do to fulfill your dreams. I had learned the importance of including everyone in my dreams, especially my family and loved ones. Your life work begins with it, brings with it rewards. You can't have rewards without recognition. It is how you share these rewards and recognition that helps you define you throughout your life. We are very similar, you and I. My beginning was in 61. Your new beginning is now, today. Now take this education and create a life dream for yourself, one you're willing to commit and share with others. Start by defining the person you wish to be in the future. I remember as a young person visualizing the kind of person I wanted to be. I wanted to be a builder, a builder of anything. It didn't matter what that was. I could see it clearly. So no matter the career path you're on, living a fulfilling life becomes your work. I have never got what is meant by work-life balance. To me, they have always fed each other. I have always embraced work and the values that have shaped my life. Some work is better for development than others. Work that uses your inner strengths and builds your confidence will help you follow the steps of achievement you need to stay focused on your dreams. Doing the delivery job in my teens, I saw that by working hard and accomplishing more than was expected, I was rewarded financially and recognized for my achievements. I only did that job for less than two months before they offered me a real job. A job I could grow with. In setting your goals to achieve your dreams, it is important to be your toughest critic and compete against your potential, which means you have to know yourself. And what I learned was rewards come when you do things better and you accomplish more than what has been asked of you. You, the graduates, have shown you can do this or you would not be here today to graduate. So I ask. When you're competing against your potential, how far will you go? I hope you'll go far enough to build a better Canada. I hope you'll go far enough to build a better world. If you have spent the largest part of your life learning to give the right answers, it is now the time to start asking the right questions. Developing those skills to create meaningful questions requires a lot of forethought and practice. All of us have been in situations not knowing what to say. <coughs> These are the times to use your questions, to get the conversation going, and you want to develop that skill to ask questions. What the question does is engage the situation. The question directs the conversation, and it shows people you're interested, and you connect the connection to them. Good things happen to good people, and good people cause good things to happen. One way to create that effect is to look for what you can do for others, not what they can do for you. If you help someone reach their potential, if you help someone be a better person than they thought, <coughs> the return will be very satisfying and beneficial and hopefully filled with rewards and recognition. 
Our dreams and our life work should be filled with rewards and recognition. People think of rewards and recognition being defined by money, promotion, awards, and public recognition. But to me, they are so much more. A successful company is a wonderful reward. And the recognition is the gratitude people share with you. As I walk through the halls in our head office, I am continually inspired by the recognition people share with us. The letters, the plaques, the praise that we receive, that the people have sent us letters over the years. Have sent us over the years to thank us. Rewards come before recognition. Neither are given and neither come without having accomplished something. Here is a different way to look at that. You've studied hard to qualify to work in the field. The reward is getting a job. The recognition is the paycheck. Going fishing is a reward. The recognition is catching the fish. Falling in love is a reward. The recognition is building a life together. Having children is a reward. The love they return you is the recognition. Rewards and recognition are personal. They're different for all of us, and when you see exactly what you need to work hard at to achieve your dreams, you see how your life is truly a work in progress. As I look ahead, I see myself with so much more to do. I have much more time to help others help themselves. I have been rewarded with a great company with wonderful people and an incredible family whose love and trust feeds me constantly. I am grateful for having a working life as fulfilling as mine has been. I have been fortunate to find my potential self and achieve through my working life the fulfillment of my dreams. Because of that, my family and I have been able to give back to the communities across Canada for the last 30 years through the Printing House Charitable Office. Each of you in this graduating class has that same potential to discover what makes you you and to set your path on a lifetime of work that is woven into your day-to-day -day life so continuously it feeds the energy, the motivation, and the values that set you apart starting today. So in closing, I'd like to share seven things to remember as you start out. Opportunity is what you see in hindsight. Dreams are what you see in the future. Whatever it is that you do, just do it really well. Have the courage to fail while embracing your blessings. Help others to help themselves. A win-win is much better than having a winner and a loser. Having lots of money doesn't count. What you do with it does. And success only comes when you have done everything you want to do.